Puerto Rico has become one of the favorite locations for the new Airbnb industry, to such a degree that it is in Puerto Rico where the short-term rental platform has evolved in relation to the modality of this offer and has expanded its range of services, thereby enhancing the hotel industry of the Caribbean island. The Airbnb industry in Puerto Rico has registered over $85 million in room tax, which has made this industry one of the most solid in terms of profits in Puerto Rico. This has been possible thanks to several advantages and successes that the location of Puerto Rico makes it a very privileged position in relation to the rest of the world. Starting with its geographical location, where as a destination, Puerto Rico competes head-to-head -head with other tourist destinations in the world. Its wealth of natural resources, its beaches, rivers, mountains, cliffs, forests and a great gastronomic and cultural diversity, all in a space 100 miles long by 35 miles. Wiped another of the great successes that places Puerto Rico as a preferred destination is its political and socio-economic relationship with the United States of America. Since being a North American territory, the American tourist does not need to process a passport and visas to enter the island, and the currency and business relationship is the same as the rest of the 50 states and union territories. Given all these attractions and successes, in Puerto Rico, the Airbnb business, unlike other destinations, faces a great challenge. Given the high supply and proliferation of short-term rental spaces, and the proliferation of platforms that compete directly with Airbnb, to be successful in a competitive and saturated industry, it is necessary to create an offer that is sufficiently attractive so that the guest not only has a unique experience, but also, it serves as a recommendation and invitation to repeat this experience. This is the challenge that Luis Daniel Rivera presents in this proposal. An offer that goes beyond the conventional, that goes beyond the traditional and that is an exclusive and unique offer and destination. I am Stacy McCallan and I welcome you to this tour presenting the proposal for the development of this Airbnb at number 58 Taniant Mata Street in the Santa Teresita Urbanization in Ocean Park, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Oceanus is the proposal that Luis Daniel Rivera presents for this enclave minutes from one of the most attractive enclaves of the capital of Puerto Rico. Ocean Park in the suburb of Santos, Puerto Rico, Luis Daniel proposes demolishing the entire existing structure, clearing the entire lot and in its place erecting a new three-level structure with around 5,300 feet of occupational area on its three levels and a base footprint of around 1,800 square feet. For this proposal, Luis Daniel will be using the technology known as SCIP or GCT, which in Puerto Rico is being worked on in coordination with Ecologica Carmelo. Inca technology that has some advantages and appeal over conventional construction, among them 40% lighter than concrete but with a higher resistance than concrete. Resistant to hurricane winds over to 150 miles per hour and earthquake resistant material and its main active ingredient, a low R value that provides a more refreshing environment inside thanks to the insulating material of the product. This in addition to an easy installation that, together with new technologies in the field of construction, would make the structure much superior to the one currently built on the site. A structure that dates back just over 60 years, with construction materials that are obsolete and harmful to health such as asbestos and lead.
The program of this Airbnb consists of six suite-type dormitory rooms, each with its bathroom and closet area for short stays, which are distributed over the first two levels of the residence. On the bedroom levels, each one has a laundry area, and on the first floor you have access to the side patio where the electric patio is located where for Tesla batteries would be located and the access stairs to the roof where the solar panels will be located. With a minimalist style where white has a leading role in the proposal, making it pragmatic but, within its simplicity, it gives it this very luxurious and glamorous atmosphere, which in a certain aspect, helps maximize the appeal of in contrast. With other destinations in the area, the proximity to the beach of Ocean Park or Ultimo Trolley, one of the most sought-after tourist destinations in the metropolitan area, makes Oceanas have advantages that other destinations do not have. Take for example the lobby area and the way the space creates a sequence and harmony between all the areas of this proposal. Generally in a home with more than one floor, generally the first level of the property is intended for the public area of the house. However, in this proposal the public area is located on the third level of the property, leaving the bedroom and laundry areas on the first two levels. The lobby becomes this vertical public area where the guest has different spaces that create a transition from the first level to the third. Without during the journey the circulation does not become a heavy activity, what it does is create a sequence and vertical transition where at each level the transition is pleasant and orderly. On the second level of the lobby, the ceiling is at double height, creating the sensation of spaciousness, relaxation and together with the insulating material of the structure, creates a totally refreshing space. On the ceiling, a skylight seems to crown the space, since throughout the daytime hours, this space serves as a natural lamp that provides natural lighting directly and indirectly to the rooms that have direct contact with the area. In this space, it is like a kind of anteroom for what will be the public area of the property, where a small living room serves as a transition point from the first level to the third level. 
On the first level we observed little fenestration and little visibility to the outside given its proximity to street level. At this level, however, we see how the structure begins to open to natural light and the environment that surrounds it with greater emphasis towards the coast. In this property, as we had mentioned previously, the order of the spaces has been completely reversed. The public space of the house, which generally occupies the first level of the property, in this case occupies the third level. This to give this space a visual connection to the coast, something that does not happen on the first level. In this space, a family room, a dining area for 12 people, a large kitchen and a balcony with a view of the coast. It's the main protagonist of this proposal. A totally open, comfortable space, where natural lighting and the sea breeze along with the architecture give this space a feeling of relaxation and harmony. For the balcony area we have two possible scenarios. In the first, a linear balcony where it would only be used to enjoy the scenic landscape towards the coast, and scenario two, a modification, where an area is added to place a jacuzzi and enjoy the view of the landscape from there. The third level closes with a linen closet area and a seventh full bathroom that can be used by both guests and visitors who are in the public area. 
around 5,300 square feet distributed over three levels in a functional, orderly manner and where the guest can enjoy a pleasant and refreshing stay. This is the proposal that Luis Daniel Rivera presents for the transformation of 58 Teniente Mata Street in the Santa Teresita urbanization in the Ocean Park area in San Juan. One of the great factors for Luis Daniel to have considered this ambitious proposal is precisely the location of the enclave and how he can not only enjoy the nearby environment, but also the ease of access to other tourist destinations such as Old San Juan, the Convention Center, the Condado area, Plaza Las Americas, Isla Verde Beach, the Luis Munoz Marin International Airport, the Pannones area. In addition to the proximity to the main public roads, which expand the accessibility to areas such as El Yunk, Rio Mar, Las Croabas and Fajardo, the islands of Vieques and Culebra and to the west. Destinations such as La Playa de Dorado, Cerro Gordo, Dorado Beach East, Isabela, Agua de la Cabo Royo, and the mountainous area of the island where the gastronomic and cultural diversity is as diverse as it is vibrant. And as a final piece of information to reinforce this proposal is its potential real estate value which could practically double or triple the value of the investment. We are talking about a property that has a comfortable spatial organization. Each room with its bathroom, with a design and a modern, safe construction typology that, due to its high capacity for both thermal and acoustic insulation, provides a unique value to this property, which although it is designed towards a rental activity, short-term, primary residence, second home or corporate rental. The tray of possibilities offered by this location makes this proposal the most ideal for the transformation of this lot. I'm Stacy McAllen. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of Luis Daniel Rivera's proposal for the transformation of lot number 58 on Teniente Mata Street in the Santa Teresita urbanization in the Ocean Park area in the city of San Juan, Puerto Rico. We hope that the presentation has satisfied his expectations in relation to the potential that this enclave has for investment.